Long ago, the night sky was blank. There were no stars. The first ones looked out the night sky, and they realized they needed some decoration. For one, they were the ones who would have to travel the skies and find their way back to Earth, and finding your way without landmarks can be very difficult. And also, it looked kind of plain, boring. So they decided they'd go down to Earth and let the animals choose what would be up in the night sky. They would have to be the ones that look up at it every night, you know, so it only made sense to let them choose what would be most pleasing to them. One early morning, the first ones made their way down to Earth and they gave the news that all the animals would get to design the constellations of the stars. They were so excited. And then Mouse spoke up, her little voice cracking. But Coyote, Coyote's just gonna mess everything up. And everyone paused and thought about it for a moment. And then they agreed. After a little bit of debating, they decided they just wouldn't tell Coyote. After all, he'd overslept yet again and had missed when the first ones came and made the announcement. It'd be easy enough to just work on the stars in secret. And so that's exactly what they did. Every morning, everyone would wake up extra early just to avoid Coyote. They'd roll out a plain white buckskin and they'd place the pebbles upon it to design the constellations, looking at it, shifting around the orders, and talking with each other until they were in agreement that this was a lovely design. This went on for a few weeks. Unfortunately, Coyote did wake up early one morning and he saw the buckskin of all the pebbles on it. Curious as to what was going on, he decided to hide and see what the other animals were up to. As he watched, he saw them designing the stars, and he overheard when the first ones were going to be arriving to set them all into the sky. This made Coyote angry. This was a huge decision, and they had left him out of it intentionally. How could they do such a thing, his friends and neighbors? Coyote took special note of when the first ones were coming back, and he began to count the days. Sure enough, the first ones arrived just when they said they would. It was early in the morning before Coyote had woken up, or at least so they thought. They rolled out the buckskin, and they showed off the beautiful designs for the night sky to the first ones. The first ones were pleased, they oohed and awed over the loveliness of it all, and then they began to sing a special song, and the buckskin glowed beautifully. Coyote ran out of the bushes and threw a handful of pebbles all over the buckskin. The animals cried out, they tried to stop him, but he was too quick, and it was too late. The buckskin had become part of the night sky, with all of the pebbles, including the ones Coyote had just flung out there, now the stars. So when you look at the night sky and you see a few lovely constellations and a whole lot of random stars, blame Coyote.